Welcome back to another review. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and review of this portable air conditioning unit. I have purchased this from Appliances Direct for about £320. There was £80 off it at the moment and in the UK currently we're going through a bit of a heat wave. Now I've got another portable air conditioning unit which I did a review on. I'll leave a link below which has been fantastic. It was a very good value for money. It was under £350 and it's does the job. It's perfect for my outside office and it's really good at you know allowing me to work in a very hot environment. However, because it's so hot at the moment and I think it's going to start getting hotter in the UK, I decided to buy this one which is slightly quieter and slightly smaller profile that I can keep in my house and leave my other air conditioning unit in my office because Unfortunately, these portable air conditioning units are ridiculously heavy. You, they're not very portable in the sense that if you've got a, you know, a house that's got two floors, you can't really carry these things up and down the stairs. They're so heavy. Um, so you can wheel them around on the floor, but if you've got to carry them up some stairs, I don't recommend trying to do that. They're incredibly heavy. I'm a pretty strong guy, but I find it really, really heavy. So I decided to buy this extra unit that I'm going to leave in the house. And so I'm going to unbox this now. I'm going to show you what's in the box. I'm going to use it for the next week or so, and then I'll let you know what I think of it uh, during the end of this video. And then you can ask me any questions if you've got any. So let's get into the unboxing and get this thing opened up. So just to quickly show you around the box, you can see that it's called the it's compact size luxury model advanced compressor technology. This is a class A device, which means it's supposed to be energy efficient and it has got a quiet mode on it as well, which is probably going to be better for things like the bedroom. Now, the other model that I've got, which I've done a review on, it is quite noisy, especially at night. But for me, I wear earplugs, so it's not really a problem for me. Um, and sometimes that background noise can actually help you get to sleep. So. Um, you might find with these units that they're not as quiet as you'd like them to be. So just be prepared for that. I don't know how quiet this unit is, but we'll soon find out when we get out of the box. But that's what we get on the box. Pretty basic, nothing too much on there. But I said this was from Appliances Direct. I couldn't find this on Amazon. I tend to buy things on Amazon a lot, but this was from Appliances Direct. So um, I'll leave a link below in the description if you want to check them out. So first thing you see as you open the box, you're presented with the extracting tunnel which will connect to the back of the unit and will then connect to a window fitting device as such that will allow you to connect this to window. Now a lot of these because they're for American windows, they don't fit UK windows so you kind of have to adjust them and, and make them try to sort of retrofit so have a look into that before you kind of you know when you when you buy these if it's going to fit your window but I find with mine if I just stick it out the window and then close my curtain that's enough to cool my bedroom down so that seems to work for me. And then what we've also got in here is we've got a uh, remote control which has got a bit of information about the um, NG compliance and I'll get that out and I'll show you that as well. All right, so I finally got this out of the box and as you see, it's still quite a large device. And what I've done, I've got my other unit next to it so you can see. So this is obviously a lot wider in its footprint, so it takes up more space on the floor. But this one is taller, but thinner, okay? so. They're the kind of differences in the models. They take up a similar, I guess, amount of space, really. They're not that much difference, but however, this one is very heavy. So it is pretty heavy to carry. And what is a slightly annoying about this device is that on the back, which is something I didn't put on the review because I didn't realize it'd be that much of a problem. There's one handle here, but there isn't any other handles anywhere else on it. So if you want to carry it, you're going to have to put one hand here and the other one has to go at the bottom, which makes it awkward to carry up and down stairs whereas this one you can see there's a nice handle here and there's a nice handle on this side as well so you can kind of carry it in front of you and it's easier to kind of maneuver around so that's something to bear in mind when you are looking at these types of air conditioning units but as you can see it's got a nice finish on this is kind of a black finish with the flaps that open up on the top whereas this one has the flaps that open up on the side so it's going to project this in a slightly different way. It's got a much bigger space for the air to come out from. The buttons are nice and simple at front and I will switch this on the moment and show you what it sounds like. And at the back, not a lot other than the extraction area which will have to go outside of a window. And then we've got the little section at the bottom there which you can see which is the valve to release the water from inside it once it's collected over the 
next. Well, once you've been using it for a few days, you'll have to empty that out. So let's plug this in and I'll show you what it sounds like. So I just thought as a bit of a comparison, before I switch this one on, I'm going to switch this one on just so you can see what it sounds like. And as this one's supposed to be slightly quieter, we can kind of do a bit of a comparison. Now it might not be easy on the camera microphone, but hopefully it'll give you an indication. So let's just switch this on. So I'm just talking now at the same volume I was talking at before. And I find that when I'm using this in my office, when I'm on the computer, if I'm talking to someone on the computer, I have to switch this off because it's very loud and they can certainly hear it um, on the phone line on the other end. So you can't use these sorts of units when you're on calls, if you're on a Teams call or something like that. Um, on your computer it does pick it up on your microphone so just keep that in mind when you are looking at these units so I'm going to plug this one in and compare the difference in sound okay so I've just plugged this one in and I'm now gonna but well, so it's 23 degrees at the moment I, I think that must be the temperature inside the room I'm not sure but let's just power it on it's a touch button and I'm gonna put the temperature down Okay, so that's seems like it's on a standard mode. So I'm just going to change this to speed, mid, high. So the high speed. So that's a lot louder on high speed. You can probably hear that already. I'm just going to put that on low speed. And low speed is much quieter. All right. Now that's just in fan mode at the moment. So if I actually put that in mode and put that to dry, cool, so that's in air conditioning mode now. So it'll beep. To press it. So yeah, that is definitely quieter than that one. And certainly if you're going to be sleeping in a room and you need some quiet, you don't want too much noise, this is definitely a quieter model, which is really good. This is also a dehumidifier as well. So if you've got washing on during the winter and you're using it, you know, your heater is trying to drying your clothing, you can actually put this into dry mode, which will then pick up all the kind of, you know, moisture from the air, which could be very helpful. And it's got a kind of the speed and obviously timer as well, if you want to put a timer on to have it on for a certain amount of time. Now that one doesn't have a timer, so that, oh sorry, no, that one does have a timer, but it doesn't have the dehumidifier option. So the timer can be useful if you just want it to cool your room down for a few hours and then switch off. Power it off. And you see the flaps are closing automatically. So there you go guys. So um, I am going to use this now for the next few weeks and see how I get on with it. But to be honest, I imagine it's going to be very, very similar in terms of how it cools the room down compared to that one. Just that that one is slightly noisier. It's got a noisier fan in it, whereas this one's got a larger fan unit on it. And I imagine it probably cooled the room down slightly quicker because of this larger area here. But I'll use this for the next um, week or so, and I'll put my final thoughts at the end of this video. Welcome back to the second part of this review. I've been using this unit now for just over a week. And I just want to give you my thoughts and feelings on this particular air conditioning unit. So first of all, let's go back to the kind of volume or sound level that this produces. In comparison to my other unit, there isn't a lot of difference. So even though this has got a low kind of power mode on it, it's still reasonably loud. So if you are someone that struggles to sleep in the sense that you need complete silence or you need it to be reasonably quiet, this is probably not going to be a good unit for you because it is reasonably loud. Now that said, I found with most air conditioning units that's the, the case, that they are generally quite loud. So you might find that with these units, that's just something you have to put up with. I wear earplugs anyway at night, so it's not too much of a problem. But that's just something to be aware of, that it is reasonably loud. Now the actual system itself, I found that it 
cools the room down within about 15 to 20 minutes the room is very very cool and we've had a few nights at the moment in the UK where it's been about 21 22 degrees at night so this has been absolutely fantastic in helping me get to sleep because one of the big things if you've got sleep problems or you're you know you're really really hot at night is that it's going to affect your sleep and it's going to affect how you perform during the day so for me a 320 pound investment to let me get some really good sleep um, on these hot days I think is really well worth it also what I found is this is going to be useful in the winter because it's got a dehumidifier built into it so when I'm doing the washing and I've got the heating on I will roll this into the other room where I've got my washing hanging up and I'll actually use it to take the air, water out of the air um, as well so that's really really good now as this unit has got a built-in system where it kind of evaporates the water that it's collecting and it goes out the back end of this tunnel through the window I found that this doesn't build up as much water as my other unit so the other unit was very very heavy and I had to wheel it into the bathroom and actually empty it by lifting it up into the shower and tipping it this one you have to do the same sort of thing so you have to empty these every now and again but at the moment after a week's use I found that it hasn't had any hardly any water build up at the bottom now the emptying reservoir is right at the bottom of this unit so you have to kind of wheel it somewhere and be able to tip it on a higher surface so you have to have a tip it over so that it leans backwards so that all the water can drain out the back so as this is quite large and heavy if you're someone that is you know small or you know not fairly old and you can't lift this thing you may struggle to empty it so I just want to make you sure that you're aware of that, that these are very, very heavy devices and that you need a reasonable amount of strength to actually lift them, to actually push them, tip them over and empty them as well. The section at the back screws in really, really easily, just turns and screws in. And I have this just sticking out the back of my kind of window. I open my window up and then I shut my curtain and that gives me enough of a kind of block to block the air coming back into the room. Uh, so that's been working fine for me. It's probably not the most efficient way of doing it. You probably do want to get a proper windows uh, fitting for for it if you were going to use it a lot but for the few days that I use this over the summer um, it seems to work fine and I'm happy with that as I said the footprint on this is pretty big so it does take up quite a bit of space in my room compared to the thinner model that I've got however the performance on this is very very good it works really well the control works very well as well so when you switch it on it beeps so just be aware that if you've got someone in the room and you walk into the room and switch this thing on, the noise could disturb them. It's not very loud, but it's loud enough to, to, to make, make a noticeable difference. I have a timer on this. And I use the timer for about kind of setting it for four hours. So I have it on during the night for four hours and that's enough to cool my room down. And then by the time I wake up, you know, uh, I've had a kind of a cool good night's sleep. So the remote control works very well. The unit works incredibly well in this kind of fairly small room. So it cools my room down very very quickly and for the price I think for 320 pounds and they've got 80 pounds off this at the moment this is a really good piece of kit uh, to help you get a good night's sleep uh, on those hot days and then you can use it again in the winter it's a dehumidifier when you've got you know kind of steaming rooms sorry uh, uh, condensation in rooms or you've got drying or washing in the winter months where you're drying them in your house this is a very good thing to have as well it's not good to have Condensate well condensation or water moisture in your house and I've got a 1950s build So I don't want to make sure that I want to keep my rooms and walls nice and dry So again, this is a, a good really good unit if you've got any comments or questions on either of the air conditioning units I've got let me know in the comments if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next video